Hey there, my name is Bobby, and uh, I'm going to be giving a review on the Siemens Lotus 12P. It's a hearing aid I bought on eBay and have not been able to find any reviews on it anywhere, including YouTube. Uh, so mine may be the first, I'm not sure, I just haven't found another. Uh, so hopefully I want, to, I want you to get the information uh, you may be looking for uh, before you buy one of these on eBay. Um, I am profoundly uh, hard of hearing in my right ear. So, two years ago, I bought a Naida hearing aid by Phonak. It's an SP, it's Naida 3, SP, uh, behind the ear hearing aid. Uh, this hearing aid is, is a very good one, uh, but it is expensive. I paid about $1,200 for this brand new. That was two years ago. Still works. They're water resistant. Fantastic. I uh, would recommend these to pretty much anyone if you've got the money. Now, for what the review is about. This is the Phonak, I'm sorry, the Siemens uh, Lotus 12P. I don't know why I forgot that. Uh, but as you can see, the Phonak and the Siemens are very similar in size. Okay? They're very, very. Uh, similar, you know, the horn on the uh, on the uh, Naida is fairly thin, while the horn on the uh, the Siemens is a little thicker. The reason for this is the microphones for the Phonak. There's three of them. You have one, two, and then three right there on the bottom. Okay. The Siemens has one, one microphone, okay, and it's the top. It's on top of the horn. That's why the horn is a little bigger. Uh, the design of the horn uh, keeps water out, but you're going to want to get one of these. This is ear gear. This simply slips over the hearing aid, uh, allowing it to uh, stay dry. If you've got wet ears, or if you're going to be outside in the environment uh, where it may be getting may get wet or dusty. Uh, Sweat and dirt, they love hearing aids. Anybody who wears one will tell you that's that'll be the end of a hearing aid. Uh, if you get enough of it on the microphone, you're not going to be able to get it off unless you send it to the manufacturer to be cleaned properly. Either that or an audiologist who's willing to take a, a hearing aid apart. Uh, now, on the Siemens 12P, you're going to have a rocker switch right here. There's your rocker. This right here is going to be for your volume. Your battery is in the very bottom. See if I can pop this little guy open here. Take a look. There's the battery panel or battery hatch. All you got to do is just snap it closed. I'm not going to snap it closed now because it will start whistling at me. This is your channel selector. You have two channels in this hearing aid, uh, unlike the Naida, where you're going to have several. Um, you can program this, but you're going to have to do it manually. There are no cables, no PC. You know, hookups or anything like that. No special equipment. All you need is a a uh, very small flathead screwdriver, just standard head screwdriver. And there's a panel right between the rocker and the channel selector. There's a little panel in there in the middle. You pop the door up on that, and you're going to have little uh, little screws. Those are the screws you use to select your channel. You know, to tweak out your channels. Whether you want it loud or soft or anything like an indoor, uh, you know, setting or an outdoor setting, uh, noise cancellation stuff like that, it's a good hearing aid for the price. Um, if I had known about this little guy two years ago, this is what I would have bought. Um, I've worn it out and about with the ear gear on it, have had no problems. It's a fantastic purchase. I mean, I'm really thinking about buying another one. Uh, very, very uh, impressed with the uh, strength of it. It's very strong. Um, if you're not hard of hearing, this thing is going to sound like a jet engine in your ear. It's going to sound like everybody is screaming in your ear. Um, uh, it's, you know, get one if you need one. You know, don't spend all the extra money uh, on something simple. You know, like, see, use one of these as your backup. That, that'd be a really good purchase. So, Hopefully, what I've said is going to be of some use to you, and uh, 
if you decide to buy one, good luck and uh, and I hope you have a, a pleasant experience with it. So there's my review. Get one. Take care. Thank you.